So what happens when an acid reacts with an alkali? Well, it forms something that isn't an alkali or an acid. They cancel each other out. We call that a neutralization reaction. And in every neutralization reaction, the same thing happens. An acid and an alkali react to form a new compound called a salt and water. Both the salt and the water are neutral. So it's taking away any of the acidity or alkalinity of the substance. In the experiment today, what we're going to do is slowly react small amounts of sodium hydroxide, which as you might remember, is an alkali. And we're going to add those small amounts to some acid. And slowly, the pH should change from being acidic through to neutral and then up to alkaline. And we should be able to plot that on a graph. So let's have a look at what the setup for that experiment is now. So here's the equipment for today's experiment. I've got two beakers, one for my sodium hydroxide and one for my hydrochloric acid there. Um, I've got a measuring cylinder here, which is going to be used to measure out exactly 10 milliliters of my hydrochloric acid. And I have a syringe. Now this syringe is accurate to one milliliter. So I can, that means I can measure really, really accurately out one milliliter of a solution at a time from here and add it into my mixture. To test the pH, what I'm going to be using is universal indicator solution. Now, this is exactly the same chemical that was on our pH paper here, but it's in a liquid form instead of stuck onto paper. So the colors should be very similar to what we're used to already, and we'll be able to use it to see what the pH will be. So first of all, I'm going to pour this acid into my beaker. And then I'm going to take the universal indicator solution and add just a few drops of it to try and get a nice strong color. That's really good. And we can see that this has a very low pH. This pH is probably around zero. I'm going to decant some sodium hydroxide into here. I don't need very much as I'm only going to be using 10 milliliters throughout the whole of my experiment. And then we want to use the syringe to suck up just one milliliter of this solution. Right, let's add in the sodium hydroxide. Hmm, there doesn't seem to be any change. In your book, as we go through this experiment, you want to draw a table that looks a little bit like this. I've done the first results for you. You can see that it's still zero uh, for the pH, even after one milliliter. I won't be showing you the results anymore, so you'll need to record them in your book correctly in order to get the right results. Milliliter two now. And it still doesn't look like there's any change. The third milliliter. Now, I reckon that there is a change of color there, probably gone to about pH one or two. Onto the fourth milliliter. Still the same, about one or two. Here we go, next milliliter. Down to a four. Let's go for another milliliter. There we go. Big change all the way to a 14. Wow, so it took ages for the color to actually change. You know, normally we would expect things to be a nice linear relationship, but here the pH suddenly changed going from an acid to a base really, really quickly. Try and find out why that's the case. What's happening here? Why does the pH not change slowly?